Hi, my name is Ademola, and I am your host for Bright Black, an evening of colorful narratives in sweater weather. Just to give you a little bit of info about what Bright Black is, Bright Black is an event tailored towards BIPOC artists, showcasing, showcasing artists in different uh, mediums um, and creating a space and uh, platform for collaboration, conversations, and communities to emerge. Today, I have with me one of the featured artists, um, someone that I have a lot of admiration for, um, for their work and their tenacity, um, the passion with which um, she navigates uh, my experiences and artists. Welcome with me, um, Artistic Genius. Thank Hello, you. how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And thanks for being so open to this. You know, um, this is one of my very first events in this realm. And just being able to reach out to all the artists and see how warm and inviting it could be to um, actually pursue that experience is truly a beautiful thing. Yeah. So tell me. What is your process? What does, it, what does being an artist mean to you? So being an artist means to me is just like pretty much like controlling your own narrative. So um, the colorful narratives was like a perfect uh, segue to I feel like who I already am. Um, so I am an artist of many talents. Um, I definitely dabble in all of the arts. Tell me about um, all of the heart. <laughs> like, so, let's get into it. What yeah. kind of mediums are you? Uh, would you say that you explore um, as an artist? Yeah, so I explore uh, spoken word poetry. So I've been doing that um, since I was, uh, I would say, about nineteen. Yeah, spoken word poetry. I do painting, so mixed media art. Uh, I dabble in oil painting and acrylic painting. Um, I also am a writer and an author. So wow. <laughs> that is quite. Yeah. That is quite the uh, the versatility there yeah and tell me like what is your story like how did you stumble upon heart how what, how did the, how did it become a thing for you you know not everyone can do this you know that right mm -hmm. so like what what what's your story how did you get here yeah I feel like uh, art kind of stumbled upon me in a, in a weird way like um, I don't have any artists in my family but it was something that I gravitated to. It was just a feeling that I had. So um, I began to draw at a young age, just trying to escape my environment. So um, I began to draw, paint, and I discovered that I had a gift. I could pretty much duplicate anything that I saw. And then that started to turn into a more creative process as I got older. And then writing also became a part of that because I just needed to express myself. Wow, I love that for you. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, it's for me, it's very refreshing to hear all the people's story, how they started, how they use heart as a medium to navigate their experience as a person in this world, and to actually wake up and choose to be that person. Would you say that, you know, it does is it challenging at all? <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just wanted to know, you know, am I the only person? Yes. Who's, um, you know, wondering like, oh God, I'm an artist. How do I, how do I tell that to people? Yeah. Uh, you know, how do I lay claim to that kind of, uh, that kind of title? And you know, it, it, for me, it took a while to actually even consider myself one. Mm. Not because I wasn't good, or not because I didn't have the confidence. I just thought that I needed some kind of validation mm. certificate to kind of make me feel like one. And, um, you know, the older I get, the less I have those needs. But some days it's harder, you know? I'm just like, maybe I should have gone to like art school yeah. or like film school or something. Yeah. So tell me, in five years, where do you see and who do you see Artistic Genius becoming? Mm. So I definitely want to grow as an artist, um, as a person overall. And I think that my main goal is to have an art studio, but I don't want that to just be a space for just art. I want it to be a space of healing um, for young artists uh, like me that you know just needed that getaway. So I would like that space to be multi-talented as well, to have uh, spaces of photography, uh, filmmaking, painting, and all of all of the arts, just to be able to show. Um, kids that there is a way to heal whatever it is that you're going through uh, when it comes to um, comes to art I would say because I've been studying and researching just how art affects the brain and it is truly healing so I think that 
without art, I don't know where I would be. So I know that I want to be able to give that back to somebody else. Yeah. I love that for you. I truly do. Because in a lot of times, you know, um, we have similar goals in a lot of ways. Uh, my goal with my heart, at least, is to always be able to share space and mm -hmm. community to always, you know, be that person that, you know, invites other people over. That's how I see art. That's how I perceive heart as calm. You know, come into my world mm -hmm. and let me show you how it looks like yours. And I think that just knowing that you have this goal and you have this ambition um, continues to solidify my um, belief that, you know, this program, this Bright Black event um, that we are having is truly something that um, is needed. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, we don't get to really have the opportunity to tell our stories the way that we would like it. And uh, yeah, I just figured like, you know, it would be great to do this. So concerning the art around the event, what pieces are we, should we be looking forward to? Do you have a title for us? What is it about? Um, I don't have any titles for you. I would like for that to be uh, showcased at the event, but um, I will say that what I will be providing as far as my spoken word poetry will be uplifting, it will be exhilarating, it will be transparent because I like to put that transparency into my um, creative process. So I want the audience to be able to just feel, um, feel who I am, but also be able to take a part of themselves after um, the show, so. Would you consider yourself a vulnerable person? Is that vulnerable? like, yeah, because... Like, I think that's the hardest part about being an artist, the part where you just don't have to show up, but you really just have to be willing to accept who you are. Yeah. And, you know, regardless of what the world expects of you and what you expect of yourself, you just show up and um, accept it. And um, I think that for, you know, just knowing how hard it is to write because you can't like writing is truly an honest game if, mm. if you agree with me it's one of those things where like hmm I feel this way but I want to write it this way if I did write it this way it would not sound true mm -hmm. would you say that it is you know when you're going through your personal life sometimes are there times where like you know mirroring your personal life in your poetry kind of puts you in a very awkward position where you're like ha ah, jesus help me <laughs> yeah all the time um it took me seven years to write one book and it wasn't because um it was hard it was just because i wasn't ready to confront certain parts of myself so i think that um I do believe that vulnerability is my greatest strength, though, when it comes to my artistry. It just takes some time with owning your own stuff and owning, you know, where you were in the past. So um, I use it to my advantage. Um, and I think that every time I use it to my advantage, I always help somebody else. So it's hard, though. It's not easy to just like pour out. You know, there's been times where I've cried on stage. But I think that that's um, important for me to do because as I pour out in that way, I'm healing myself as well. So wow. yeah. I love this chat and I appreciate you for taking the time to speak with me. It is truly a pleasure of mine to hear your point of view, to know your story, to know where you're going, to know who you want to be and how you plan on being that person. And I'm just glad that um, this event some way, somehow contributes to that story. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing your work, listening and feeling the impact of your words. I, I cannot wait. I, I know of your poetry already, but I haven't quite experienced it in person. So I am just as excited as the rest of the world to experience you. Thank you so oh, much, you. Artistic I Genius. It. It's been such a pleasure to speak with you. And uh, yeah, thank you. If you're watching this, Artistic Genius is on all social media platforms as Artistic Genius. And uh, you'll be able to follow her on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all you know your social media platforms. Mm -hmm.